Whether you want to save a single document as a PDF file or you want to export a multi-page PDF document from Photoshop, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it super quickly right now. Now here in Photoshop, I already created a little mock PDF of my own here. And let's say I just want to export this first about page here. When you want to export only one file as a PDF, this is the method you're going to use. You can go up to file and then down here to save a copy. Now on older versions of Photoshop, this will not be a thing. It's going to be just save as, but in the newer versions of the program, save a copy is where you need to go to create a PDF document. So clicking on save a copy, this new window will appear where you can give your file a name as well as choose a save location on your computer. However, what's most important here is going to the format and changing this from Photoshop and then go down to Photoshop PDF. So with that format selected, your file will now be exported as a PDF when you click save. Now with everything checked off, as you see here, clicking save, there's going to be this secondary window that appears, which is where you can adjust all of your PDF settings. Now I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later on since it differs when you're exporting a multi-page PDF, but let's just go over the highlights of it right now. So the first thing you get to choose is your Adobe PDF preset. So you can choose between a few different presets that control all of the settings for your PDF. However, I just usually keep this to high quality print. And then if I make any changes to my PDF settings, it will just automatically modify that preset. From there, I'll set this to none and my compatibility, I usually don't touch, but you can change the compatibility for the Acrobat that you're going to be reading the PDF file in. I've never had an issue by just exporting to Acrobat 5 PDF 1.4. In the description section, you can add any information about your PDF that you want to include in the info of the file. And then within the options settings, this is where the most important decisions are made, I suppose, for your PDF. The first is preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. When this option is checked, that means that you can open your file as a PDF in Photoshop and still have access to all of the layers. Now that means you get access to all those layers as well as anyone else who opens that PDF. So if you don't want someone to edit your PDF file or have the ability to edit all of the individual layers of your PDF document, I'd recommend making this unchecked so that it is no longer editable. That way you can just have your own PSD file for a Photoshop project and then have another PDF export that's strictly meant for viewing. Now from there we have the embed page thumbnails option, which basically creates thumbnails for every page in your PDF document, or since we're just exporting one document at this point, it will create a thumbnail for that single document. When you go into a PDF reader, it'll show up on the side or something like that. And then lastly, I would recommend to keep this optimized for fast web preview checked as well, because it will just help your PDF load faster when you go to upload it online. Now the next option is in compression. All of these settings I don't usually touch. However, if you want to, they are here. Output, once again, I do not touch that. And then security, if you want to add a password to your documents, so only certain people can open it. Let's say you have the Krabby Patty formula hidden in your PDF. You can click on the require a password and then type in your password here. So then whenever someone tries to open your PDF document, they'll have to type in the password that you set in this box. Lastly, we have our summary, which just summarizes all of the export settings of our PDF right here. So you can look at it all in one place. Now, once you've gone through all of your settings, all you have to do to save your PDF file is just click save PDF. Photoshop will do its thing and then you'll have a PDF file. Now I've already gone ahead and saved a PDF file where I can edit it and another one where I cannot. I'm gonna open both of those right now to show you an example. Now here I've just reopened the file that I just exported. And as you can see up here, it is in fact a PDF document, but when I look at the layers panel, there is only the one layer. So everything's being compressed onto the single page. However, with one of my other pages, as you can see, this one is also a PDF document, but in the layers panel, I have all the layers that I can edit as I wish because I checked off that little box that said preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. Because I checked it off, I was able to retain all the layers in my document. So now you have a good idea of all your settings for exporting PDF and how to export a single page as a PDF. But what if you wanna export a multi-page PDF? In this case, I have three different pages here across three different windows. Well, in that case, we're going to do a little bit of a different method by going to file and then down here to automate and then PDF presentation. 
Now in the window that appears, you're gonna click the add open files option, and that's gonna open every single document that you have open in Photoshop. So as you can see, I have the untitled one, two, three, which correlates to my tabs in Photoshop. So if you would like, you can drag to reposition the order of them, but basically the order of your PDF will be saved from the top as your first page, and then the bottom as your last page. Then within the output options, make sure you save as a multi-page document, the background set to white, and the font size, it doesn't really Really matter because you've already set any fonts and things within Photoshop so this font size won't change anything. With all that looking good we'll click on save and then choose a location on our computer to save the file. Clicking save once again and then we'll be greeted with a very familiar box once again but this time the big difference here is that you do not have the option to preserve the Photoshop editing capabilities aka have access to your layers afterwards when you're exporting a multi-page PDF. Instead the only way to access that option is by exporting PDF files as individual files and not as a PDF multi-page document. Other than that, everything is exactly the same for exporting, including requiring a password and all of that kind of stuff. Now, one thing that is super useful if you have very specific settings for your exporting, you can go down here to save preset after you've gone ahead and made all the settings correct for your PDF. By clicking on save preset, you can create a custom option here within the Adobe PDF presets. As you can see, I've created one right here, my Adobe PDF preset one. And by clicking on that, that will automatically change around my settings to my regular go-to options. So if you always use very specific settings or you need to export your PDF in a few different ways, then I would recommend creating presets. So then it just saves you a ton of time. Now, of course, once you're done with that, just click save PDF. Photoshop will export your PDF and then you can go and view your PDF in something like Acrobat, for example. And that's just to show you an example of my exported document here in Adobe Acrobat. I now have all the pages that I just exported from Photoshop in one single PDF file. It's easy to view and can be edited just like any other PDF file if you had some type of fill in the blank forms or things like that. So with those two different methods, you can easily export a single PDF document or a multi-page PDF document from Photoshop in just a couple of minutes. And if this video helped you to export your PDF documents, of course, hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Anyways, my name is Brendan from bewillcreator.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.